Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Our mission at the garage is to save you guys as much money as we can. That's why we make these absolutely free videos and we teach you how to fix your car for free. Let's go ahead and start on it now. In today's video guys, we're going to go ahead and explain the symptoms of a bad ignition car. What happens to the engine, what to expect and how to know that it is ignition car. So we have that Ford Fiesta guys, but it will be the same procedure for pretty much any vehicle. The procedure is not very complicated. Let me first start the car. Okay, and you see what it sounds like with the bad ignition coil now. Okay. You hear the car misfiring. If you're driving down the road, you will notice that you do not have as much power as usual. Okay, listen now when I give it gas. You will notice some vibrations in the cabin as well. Okay, I can definitely feel it in the steering wheel. It definitely sounds like it's misfiring. Engine light will be on too. Okay, listen now. So, I'll go ahead, turn the engine off and turn the ignition on. What we will do now, okay, I'm going to go ahead and close the door so it's not beeping here annoyingly. We'll use that scanner guys, you can find it, uh, find the model that we use in the description of the video, really cool tool. Uh, and we'll select OBD2, this works on any car. Okay, and we're going to give it a few, a few seconds to connect, now it's going to read the computer and it says that we have one found code. Erase previously stored data, yes, and we can continue now. Now, the first one is read codes. Okay, let me focus. So we'll click read codes, stored codes, P0351 ignition coil A. A is the same as ignition coil number one. If you have a B, it's ignition code number 2 and the code will be 352. So the last digit of the code correspond to the number of the ignition code. Let's say it's cylinder number 4, you have a code P0354 and you will say ignition coil D. So I'm going to go ahead, okay, turn the engine uh, uh, the ignition off now, engine, ignition, everything's off and we will replace the ignition coil and see how it sounds after that. Now, 351 is ignition coil 1. This is ignition coil number 1. On most uh, cars, you, you might have a, a kind of like a lock, like this one. You have to pull back and then press on it and disconnect the wire. That lock is uh, there for a good purpose because from vibrations they might get loose. Those wires and you don't want that to happen because the car will start misfiring. So usually the ignition coils attach with one or two bolts. Okay, we're going to go ahead, remove this one too as well, and pull the ignition coil out. Okay, this is the ignition coil right here. Now we're going to replace it with a new one. You can see here we are rebuilding an engine for that Hyundai that developed an engine log. You probably know about it with only 69,000 miles. So check it out on the channel. And when you remove your ignition coil, always check the hole inside to make sure you don't have any oil. Because if the valve cover gasket starts leaking, you might have oil inside. So if you do, you need new gasket for the valve cover. Now, if you wash your engine, and you start getting a misfiring code like for ignition coil, you might have water inside here. So you have to suck it out, let it dry, and install them again. So on that hand that I want, guys, okay, the ignition coil attaches only with one bolt. You can see right here. Only one bolt on the fork, it attaches with two bolts. So different cars, different models, but as a whole, the procedure is the same. The tools and parts that we use will be listed in the description of the video below, so check them out. Okay, we'll install the two bolts now, get those tight, we're going to clear the coat, start the car and see how it's going to sound now. Okay. 
perfect. Now we need to connect the wire. All the way until it clicks. Perfect. Now, let's turn the ignition on. And I'm going to go ahead and erase the code first. Okay, we will erase the code. So we'll go back. Go back one more time. Click erase code. Enter. Are you sure? Yes. Now erase is done. Press any key to continue. Now, let's go ahead and start the car. Okay, and listen now. Okay, let me close the door again so we don't have that annoying beep. Alright. You will not have that harsh vibration in the body, the dash as well. Engine light is off. As you can see, there is no engine light. And even if I scan the system right now, there should be nothing there. No codes are stored in the system. So that's how you fix those codes, guys. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and many more videos to come to the channel. Hopefully, guys, the video was helpful and we were able to save you money. We guys have more than 19,000 free repair videos on our YouTube channels. Check them out. We have videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.